Something's in the air in Dillydale today. Everybody is sneezing. <coughs> or they have an uncontrollable case of the hiccups. <coughs> to some Mr. Men and Little Misses, <coughs> a sneeze or a hiccup can be a funny thing. <coughs> but to Mr. Nervous, it's a cause for alarm. <coughs> for you see, sometimes a sneeze is a sign that you're coming down with a cold. Oh, Mr. Stubborn, I have papers for you to sign. No, no, Miss Chatterbox. Can't you see I'm busy? Gesundheit! <coughs> Do not call me names! I'm not. I'm just wishing you good health, which you obviously need since you're coming down with a cold. I am not coming down with a cold. I am perfectly fine. <coughs> well, I may not be a doctor, although once I went to a fancy dress party dressed as one, which was really, really funny until someone asked me to take out their tonsils. Anyway, I'm pretty sure you have a cold. I do not have a cold. Achoo! Hello, Mr. Grumpy. Who sneezed? Mr. Stubborn did. He has a cold. Will you stop hmm? saying that? Just go home, Stubborn. We don't need you spreading your germs around the office and making the rest of us ill. I do not have a cold. <laughs> Keep your tissues. I am fine. <laughs> Sounds like you have a cold, Mr. Stubborn. I do not have a cold, Mr. Lazy. Yes, you do. No, I don't. I think you do. And I know I don't. Maybe you should see a doctor. Only sick people go to the doctor. <laughs> oh. Hello, Mr. Happy. Wonderful. Knocking down this wall really opens up the place. Mr. Stubborn knocked it down with a sneeze. <laughs> he has a cold. A cold? That sounds serious. How about I give you a professional opinion? Mm-hmm. Mr. Stubborn, I have some bad news. You have a cold. I do not have a cold. But I'm a doctor. I know these things. You know nothing. None of you know anything. I have never been more healthy. Gesundheit. How am I supposed to do my job in the dark? I am going home. Call me when this light is fixed. Get well soon. For the last time, I do not have a... That door is cheap! Over on the other side of Dilly Dale, Mr. Fussy has invited Mr. Messy and Mr. Tickle to a fancy restaurant with a very strict dress code. Well, good evening, gentlemen. Ha! Good evening to you, Mr. Happy. Table for three, please. We're here to try your cold potato soup. Wonderful! We do specialise in cold soup. However, I'm afraid Mr. Men are required to wear a tie. What did I tell you? Luckily, I have some ties right here. Aha! How magnificent! A restaurant that thinks of everything. Eh, uh, what am I supposed to do with this? You wear it. Now put it on so that we might proceed with our evening. Right this way. I think this tie is trying to choke me. I understand the urge. Now, take a look at this marvellous selection of cold soups. I can't concentrate. I'm not used to being this neat. Maybe you need a tickle. This is not the place for a tickle. Now keep your hands to yourself and choose your soup. Yeah. Miss 
Mr. Messy, you must always cover your mouth when sneezing in the presence of others. Sorry, Mr. Fussy. That one snuck up on me. It's Very well. Hmm. Perhaps these flowers are making you sneeze. Welcome to the Dillydale Soup Pot. I'm your waiter, Mr. Nervous. Let me start you off with our cold potato soup. It's a catastrophic concoction of coldness. Thank you, Mr. Nervous. It looks lovely. I'm not such a fan of potatoes. Could I just have a bowl of your stinkiest cold cheese soup, please? Yes! Clearly something around here is making you sneeze. Perhaps it's the bread. Don't think so. I use a loaf of bread for a pillow, and this never happens. Yes! <laughs> Maybe it's the butter. Yes! <laughs> Maybe it's Mr. Tickle. But I can't tickle from over here. Yes! <laughs> no, something else is making me sneeze. <laughs> That's a tablecloth. Mr. Fussy, would you like a tickle? No, I would not. What I would like is to have a civilized dinner with civilized companions with whom I might enjoy a delicious cold soup. That's it. I have tried to be patient, but you have pushed me too far. Oh, come on, Mr. Fussy. That's not fair. I got dressed up for the occasion. Sweet apple strudel. Get rid of that filthy tie at once. You definitely need a tickle. Yes! 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 <laughs> hey, I've stopped sneezing. Must have been that tie that was making me sneeze. Why does that not surprise me? Let's go home. I've had more than enough excitement for one night. But we hardly got to eat. Ooh! And I hardly got to tickle. No, no! <laughs> Stop! This is not the place for that sort of thing! <laughs> Some doctors are good at fixing broken legs or specialise in upset stomachs. Others are good at curing more unusual problems, like a case of the hiccups. Of course, it helps to be a doctor with a magic touch. As you can see, Miss Scary, I've got a terrible case of the hiccups. Well, I know just the cure for that. Ah! Oh! I can't even scare them out of you. This is a job for the Hiccup Doctor. Oh. <coughs> Hello. Ah, I love it when you do that. Hello, Miss Magic. Can you help me? What seems to be the problem? I have a, a bad case of the hiccups. You've come to the right place. As a hiccupologist... I'm trained to cure even the worst case of hiccups. Bibbledy beeps and bibbledy boops. Bring to an end your silly hiccups. Ah! Isn't it amazing? <coughs> oh, meh. <coughs> totally. But now Miss Daredevil talks like a goat. Yes, but her hiccups are cured. <coughs> okay, maybe not completely cured. <coughs> I don't speak goat, but I think she wants her old voice back. No problem. Let's just try this again. Bibble dee tats and bibble dee tap. Give the goat girl a voice back. Ta da! <coughs> okay, now that is scary. <coughs> oh, this is more serious than I thought. Bibble dee doo and bibble dee does. Turn her back the way she was. <coughs> <coughs> My hiccups are gone. You did it. Thanks, Miss Magic. Sometimes my magic surprises even me. Whoa! Ta da! <laughs> oh, that was fantastically frightening. I love it. Uh oh, should I call Miss Magic back? No, I have a better idea. Oh. Help me carry this thing over to my house. It'll be nice and scary in my dining room. 
And so you see, sneezes and hiccups are nothing to be afraid of. Unless, of course, you're Mr. Nervous. So the next time you sneeze, be sure to cover your mouth and wash your hands. And if you get a case of the hiccups and want to get rid of them, think of something really scary. Oh dear. Thank you, Miss Scary. I couldn't have done it without you. <laughs>